morning everyone. It's about five o'clock, five past five I think it is. Everyone else is snoozing as you can imagine. Bit of a rough sleep last night, man. All these kids, not teenagers, in the other, some of the other rooms, man. Just even last night, they were just sitting outside our, sitting outside our cabin, and then one just walked in. One just opened the door and walked in and helped yourself. Far out. Anyway, they finally got to sleep. We got about four or five hours, I think. So time to get ready. Time to get sussed and. Um, be on the beach, register, and get some lines in the water. Right, let's do this. First in, eh? First in, registered. Right. Do we wrap coffee or just uh, make our own coffee? I think we just make got, our own coffee. Got, we got coffee, we got cream, we got a um, bit of milk. Yeah. Get Save it. Yep. Yep. It'll take us 15 minutes to get set up. Who knows how long this day will be? <laughs> yeah. Alright. I can sacrifice uh, a good coffee for a day to get out there. Well, we just need the caffeine hit, that's all we need. Yeah. Down on the beach, we've got the lines in the water. Not sure what time it is, probably 6 30 or something. We had a line in the water at 5 past 6. And uh, one of the lads down there had a few bites, so a few other setups down the down the beach. There's a few people around. I think I have to get the coffee on Zoom. At least it's not raining. It's the main thing. Oh, looking pretty tricky there, the Josh. Run us through what you got there, Josh. Bro, I have no idea what I got here. <laughs> I'm a fresh beginner. So uh, I've got some hooks and a sinker. And Tiny. a line He's some bluffing, floaters. look, he's got those floats on there. He knows and, what he's uh, doing. Yeah, something yeah, like that. Eh? Yeah, yeah. No, this, this not over here. <laughs> Playing it down. Oh, yep. Broken bottles on the beach. Sweet. Oh, cool. All my bare feet. Hey. No, that's not even going to come off, is it? Even 
I don't know what I'm up to. Oh, hang on. No, you've got it in the wrong spot. That's the right spot. Oh, no, that's the right spot. Yeah. But because I had to put my floats there, because you're not allowed two hooks in this comp, so the keeper hook I had to tie not to keep it away from the oh, other yeah. one. <laughs> to keep it away. Nice goal. That's better. What was the update there, Josh, on the fish caught? Uh, two fish, uh, just both kahawais, small ones. So anything you catch today gets you a prize, I think. Yep. We just might have to change our tactics a bit. Might just have to, instead of trying to cast it out the back, maybe just cast into that wash, into that white wash you can see over here. And then at least we can catch something little rather than uh, heaviest. You like that sauce? Bro, bean sauce. Meat juice. This stuff is the business. So good. You can have it on anything. All good? All good. Yep. Here we go. Haley. Again, there's really bad audio with the wind noise, so I'll just explain what's happening here. With about an hour left to go before the comp ended, we decided to pack up and shift spots, which would give us about another 40 minutes or so of fishing. This spot actually produced a snapper, but it was about four centimeters short of the legal size, and it wouldn't have counted towards the comp anyway. Oh, so that's what, <laughs> four centimeters short from a legal snapper. Uh, oh, Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. Dang. Oh well, we would. Snapper. Alright. Gotta pack it up. We were packing up anyway. Um, Josh is just releasing his snapper. <laughs> the, the one fish. Um, and yeah. Oh. Oh, pack it up. Back to the club. Barbecue and something to eat, and then we'll reassess. We might go somewhere this afternoon. Hey, everyone. So as you would have seen, the comp is done and dusted. Um, not a lot of fish caught. So about 90-ish anglers uh, that were registered and had obviously rods in the water and stuff. And I think about 10 or 11 fish were caught in total. Uh, so very hard fishing. Um, we didn't catch anything. One of the guys, Josh, he right on the bell, right on the buzzer basically of the comp ending, um, 
caught a just undersized snapper which we just missed out on there if it had been legal um, he, he would have won it because there's no other legal snappers caught anyway um, we have come back to the cabin and uh, just unloaded the truck a bit tidied it up and because we're here we thought let's just let's go we're going to go do a another bit of a mission we're going to head up to Tolaga which is about 40 minute drive roughly um, there's a big there's a big wharf there that juts out into the ocean so we're going to go there it's probably going to be windy it's probably going to be pretty average but you don't catch fish sitting in the, the holiday park so going to give it a go throw the stick bait around as well as the um, we've got bur a couple of bags of burley to use so we're going to burley up um, and Caleb's going to get some bait on his hook try that um, I'm going to flip the stick bait around and we'll just see what happens spend an hour there, hour and a half um, I'm able to use the time wisely, make the most of it so rightio, here we go again Tolaga Bay now. So this, I'm guessing, here's your here's your history lesson. <laughs> this was obviously some sort of loading thing where the where the ships came in and docked and then unloaded onto the train and uh, and then the train used to truck it or used to train it back into the into the town. So put in the comments if, in the comments below if I'm wrong. <laughs> Look at that man, it's, it's pretty stunning that first time here for me. It's probably going to be a little bit breezy out there, so bear with us with the wind noise. But geez, it looks pretty calm out there, it's pretty good. Too bad uh, Josh didn't come with us. <laughs> missing out, Josh. Yep, missing out. Man, it's so nice. Woo. Might need to give this fella a hand soon. <laughs> Alright, check in soon. scenery here was just beautiful, absolutely stunning. The guy fishing next to us, he had a couple of crayfish pots out and he was catching a few while we were there. As you can see, getting quite a few bites, but after talking to the guy next to us, they're just small snapper and trevally, and they pretty much end up being a bit of a pest, just nibbling at your bait the whole time. All right, so we had a, you can probably see a bit of footage there, but um, just finished up at Tonga Bay Wharf there. Let's see the wharf. It's a massive 660 meters long. Yeah, it's quite a hike when you've got chili bin with six kgs of burley and a couple of kilos of, uh, of fish bait, but quite a few bites uh, over the couple of hours that we were there, a couple of decent ones, which probably would have been whatever they were, with legal, uh, legal size uh, fish. Uh, we've got a little just below legal um, snapper, um, obviously through that bag, we've got a couple of power there too, but uh, to 
really much. It's like a lot more exciting than there for this morning. But it's uh, middle of the beach. It's really good. It's good. And it was worthwhile coming in just to see the walk and the cliffs. You saw the cliffs in the middle. It's um, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Just amazing nature and just the. Yeah. It's just really cool to see. So um, we're going to head back now and probably get some dinner and um, call it a night I think. We might even go down in the morning down to the local beach and there's another bit of a channel there and just flip the stick bait around just in case and just for a last cast before we head off. We'll see you in the morning. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, be sure to like and subscribe. See you on the next video.